Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna explain fuzzing and dar searching for bug bounty hunters and penetration testers. Uh, I first want to tell you that you are gonna learn a lot from this video, so don't skip it, please. Uh, and if you want to click it off, just tell me why in the comments so I can fix this in the next video. Okay, uh, we're gonna explain uh, in this video dar search, uh, FFUF or FF, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna call it FF for like uh, to easily say it. We have DNS scan, we have loops where you can automate FFUF or FUF. Uh, we have uh, when you have rate limits, we're gonna use this, this, and uh, yeah, we're gonna hop into hack the box. You you don't have to have hack the box uh, to try this. You can try it on any website. You can try it on uh, like go on hacker one and see if you can find uh, some bug bounty program to try and run this tools on. Well, we now have an IB. Let's go to this IB. Welcome to HTB Academy. Okay, uh, in addition to the directory we found above, there is another directory that can be found. What is it? I know that's going to be forum. So, but how can we like find it? Uh, well, you open WSL or your Linux terminal. Uh, it won't matter. Uh, and we are first going to start with a dire search. What's dire search? It's a Python based tool that's used to discover hidden files, hidden directories, and stuff like you, you can discover slash admin, you can discover slash forum, slash anything. Uh, the syntax uh, where you use it or the command is like this, dar search dash l and you provide a, a file with a list of domains or dash u and you profile a single domain. To use dar search you can uh, type the command dar search or uh, Python search.by you you should install the tool before this you can find it on github or you can install it using apt install i think uh, yeah so you can use tag u or dash u to provide a url or you can use tag l to provide a list of urls and you can use dash m to specify the method whether you want to send post requests get requests or anything by default it uses get requests you can also use tag e or dash e to uh, uh, send or use some extensions. Let's say I want to filter for .php files. I also want uh, .dot um, .aspx files, .html, .javascript, anything. You can also use tag i um, to you to specify the code you want. Uh, I personally don't think that you should do this uh, because it will like. Uh, uh, you may have like slash admin which gives you 400 so you don't want to uh, 401 so you don't want to use slash or tech i for this okay okay so let's start and uh, try to solve this uh, we need to find subdomains for this you can do dire search and then we're gonna send the url or ib so we can use tech you and just press enter okay uh, we should wait for it to finish. Uh, it sh it's now running. Uh, it's four or five percent. Oh, it found us some stuff, but uh, it's all four or three. It's dot uh, hd access files, and uh, these aren't allowed. Uh, until it finishes, uh, I'm gonna let it run. It's gonna take like five minutes or five seconds. Um, we will be covering FF in this video and DNS scan also. Uh, but uh, FF, we're gonna go into like some basic stuff, and uh, because it's so good or so big, we're gonna have to do something, some video, some big video on it. Uh, and I will be doing the next video on this uh, attacking web applications with FFUF uh, on Hack the Box Academy. You don't have to be subscribed, you only have to be if you want to solve these labs by yourself. If you don't, uh, it's just fine if you can watch them and uh, understand them. Okay, uh, it's even better if you are uh, subscribed and you are watching to just uh, like uh, solve them by your hands. So let's see now the search. Okay, we found slash blog and slash forum. This um, let's type them here slash blog and slash forum. Uh, let's go and visit them to make sure that they exist. Slash blog exists. It has nothing, but it exists. And what about slash forum? It also exists, but has nothing. How do you know it exists? Because if you do like a random name, it's gonna say not found. Okay, this is great, 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 great. Now, how can we use FFUF or FF? You can use it with a tag queue like this, 
uh, to specify a URL and uh, but this needs a word list okay and you can use these word lists from the sick lists uh, this is uh, open source uh, word list on github you can download it it's gonna be very 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 useful sorry um, uh, you can see all of the stuff I have it downloaded wait I have it downloaded uh, right here so I can use it uh, yeah uh, let's go and try to use F, uh, FF uh, which is x forwarded for and x forward host uh, use these headers these are just for like create limit bypassing just add them there it, it won't hurt you know I like FF more because it's like it allows me to fuzz for subdomains let's say fuzz.example.com it also allows me to fuzz for like example.com slash fuzz anything it also allows me to fuzz for parameter names fuzz equals test for example uh, that's why I like it. It also allows me to fuzz using two different values at the same time. So I can let's say I have uh, example dot com slash uh, fuzz dot fuzz two. Uh, this will search like uh, if I wanted to fuzz for uh, file names and file extensions at the same time. You can also add like slash fuzz slash fuzz dot fuzz three uh, like this. It will take some time, but uh, it will work eventually. So let's now try to use it to solve this. Uh, now we know this. This is our IB. You can do f uh, ff dash u and put in your IB and dash w to uh, get the word list. Uh, also, also, the ff tool uh, expects the keyword fuzz to be in the URL or anywhere in the request you're gonna send like in the headers and the request itself it doesn't matter but it should be there and we use the dash w to get our word list which is gonna be in uh, discovery web content and let's use raft medium folders or dyers yeah what uh, what dash lowercase okay dot text now we're gonna try it. It already found blog. It was very, very much faster than the dart search, but it's because uh, of the word list only, not uh, anything. And we also were able to find forum, which is really, really, really great. Server status. This also, you know, depends on uh, your word list. So better choose a good one. Okay, okay. But we have a problem. Uh, let's say. Uh, you have like this 403 and you don't want it to show up you can use filters dash you can have dash fs for filtering by size this size you have dash fc which filters by code you have dash fw which filters by words you have everything you can do that attack h or like ff dash h you can see everything in here uh, I, I like uh, I used dash fc dash fs most of the time okay um now i think you know how to use ff you can also use it um, for fuzzing for parameters but we'll go into this uh, in the next video we're gonna explain how to use ff uh, to its full potential we're gonna explain it on this module on uh, hack the box academy i hope at least um so now we're gonna go for dns scan focuses on subdomain fuzzing uh, first, you should know b by now what subdomains are. They are like um, you have. Let's say we're gonna use Google for this. Uh, this is uh, for educational purposes only. Uh, they have a bug bounty program, so I can test th on them, and you can too. But if you find anything vulnerable, you should report it to them. Okay, let's try to find subdomains for Google. Let's get this and use the DNS scan tool. Uh, do I have it installed in here? DNS scan. Apt install. Well, we're gonna have to install it first, uh, and we can do so by doing get clone this. Let's try to clone it and uh, cd dns scan ls. We have dns scan to buy. You can run it by doing python dns scan, <coughs> and it will say tech h or dash h for dash d for domain. 
dash l for domain list and we can use da dash w to provide a word list to it so let's do dash uh, d for domain google dot com and dash w to use a word list which is gonna be like um <coughs> discovery or like what was dns i think discovery then dns yeah and we're gonna use subdomains uh let's say top one million and use the most uh, f uh, common 5000 ones wait let's wait for a bit you can see right here these are the text records this is ibv6 of google and uh, these are the subdomains that you can find chat.google.com video dns images abi news web search svn or something i can't see it correctly because of the outline of the recording or you don't see it but i do and uh, these are the stuff okay uh, this is used uh, primarily for finding subdomains and uh, subdomains as you know broaden or widen your search uh, and your bug bounty hunting journey so i hope uh, you can use it uh, it should be useful um, this is the link for it and yeah i hope you learned something new as i told you and uh, if you didn't just let me know what you want to learn and i will teach you uh, i mean i will try to at least okay uh, i'll see you in the next video